So for the past week or so, I've been doing this experiment. I've been staying up really late. I took advantage. I've been staying up really late to like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And in those late hours of the day, I've been trying to be really productive, trying to stay focused, trying to get some serious work done in like the past last four, three hours of the day. Because you know how online there's this like culture of like waking up really early because, you know, the whole world is asleep. All your friends are asleep. You know, wake up at 4 a.m., get everything done before everyone wakes up. This is kind of the same thing, but instead of like waking up early and getting things done when you first wake up, this is like sleeping late and getting things done before you go to sleep. So this was kind of an experiment I did for the past week. And I do think for many people, maybe not like in the long run, maybe not like sustainably for a long time, but for many people, this can actually be a really great thing to do. Staying up late and like you can get some serious stuff done because just like waking up early, the whole world is asleep. There's a different kind of like energy, a different kind of like focus that you can achieve in these hours of the morning when people are asleep. So I'm going to go through that in this video and talk about like, will this work for you? The advantages and the disadvantages. Because, you know, for my whole life, I've experimented like waking up and sleeping at different times. Like in high school, there were periods where I would wake up at like 4 a.m. You know, that's, I think that was the earliest I ever woke up. Actually, there was, there was a period where I was literally waking up at 12 a.m. I'm not even kidding. I would get home from school, go to sleep and wake up at 12 a.m. at midnight. So I've experimented with all these things. Like for me, like, you know, during exam seasons, I would wake up pretty early, like 6 a.m. back in the day. But now I kind of wake up at a more normal time. You know, I wake up around, you know, early morning, maybe eight or something like that, seven, maybe not seven, eight. I'm trying to wake up at seven now. I've also gone through periods of like sleeping really late. I've always naturally been like a late sleeper. You know, I like staying up to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and waking up a bit more later in the morning. Because I mean, there have been successful people in history who have actually stayed up late and achieved a lot of their stuff staying up late. Like I recently saw this podcast by this guy called Tim Ferriss. He's a pretty successful writer. And he talked about how a lot of his writing periods, like a lot of seasons where he did a lot of his writing, he actually stayed up really late to get that stuff done. So I do think it can actually be something that can be actually used to your advantage. Okay, the first thing I want to mention here in this video, this thing I learned about recently, it blew my mind when I first learned about this. This was crazy. So I used to think the, the concept of what I'm about to say, I used to think it was bullshit. I used to think it was like pseudoscience, like, you know, like star signs or like, you know, astrology, stuff like that. I used to think it was complete like false. But apparently it's 100% true. It's like science proven. So recently I watched a podcast by this sleep expert called Matt Walker. And basically, you know the whole concept of like night owls? Like how there's night owls and morning larks. Like some people just naturally sleep really late. Some people just naturally wake up really early. This is called a chronotype. And apparently according to Matt Walker, the sleep expert, Apparently this is 100% true and completely proven. Apparently your genes do determine when you naturally are more alert and when you naturally like go to sleep. So the reason for this apparently, it's like humans evolved to have these chronotypes to sleep at certain times. Because for most of human history, we were living in these hunter-gatherer societies of like 100, 200, 300 people. And you could imagine if every single person slept at the same time, if everybody slept at 8 p.m. and woke up at 5 a.m., then there would be this period of like nine hours where the whole tribe would be asleep. So you could imagine how that was a massive disadvantage. So humans evolved to the point where like, you know, some people were sleeping at eight, some people were sleeping at 10, some people were sleeping at midnight. So we got to this point where there could always be people awake protecting the others. But the unfortunate thing is modern society is no longer like that. We no longer need these shifts of people being awake and being asleep. And the unfortunate thing is society is designed around the morning person. I mean, work is nine to five. So going to work, you have to be there at 9 a.m. School, at least for me in high school, was at 7 a.m., bro. So, you know, I had to wake up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. just to go to school. So society is designed around the morning person, which if you're a morning person, that's great, that's fine. But for night hours, people who naturally sleep past midnight, they get fucked. Society is not designed for night hours at all. So there are some, there are many people out there who are naturally night hours and they struggle to adapt to society, to live to society. Like they have to, they, they must, but it's difficult for them. So, and not only that, you know, modern media, modern, the culture currently in the world is that people who wake up late, people who sleep really late are considered lazy. They're considered unproductive. Like, bro, if you wake up at 4 a.m., you're a god, you're a king, you're super productive, you're, you know, you're the top 
top person. But if you wake up late or sleep late, you're lazy, you're unproductive, you're, you know, a drag to society. But like, the thing is, they're still getting the same amount of sleep. They're still staying up for the same amount of time. So what's the difference between those two people? Now, actually, here's the thing. I will say that there is something about these morning hours, like these hours when most of society is asleep. There is something about those hours that is more like, I find I can be more focused, more productive during those hours. If you've ever tried to get work done past midnight, or like really early in the morning, you will realize that you can actually get more done. It's actually way more efficient in those hours. So I do admit there is actually something special about waking up early. But what about staying up late? That's what I want to go through in this video. Is there also an advantage to being able to stay up late? Because for some people like night hours like me, it could be more natural to stay up late. So I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons here of is, is it actually worth it trying a period of staying up late? So this is kind of like an experiment I did on myself. So first I'll go through the cons, the, the disadvantages of this. So the first thing I wanna say is doing this in the long run is probably not sustainable. Because like I said, society is designed around the, the, the morning person. So if you're staying up to like 4 a.m. and waking up really late every day, it might work for a couple of weeks, it might work for the summer holidays, but it's not gonna work when, you're, when you've got a job. It's not gonna work when you've gotta to go to school. So I don't think this is a sustainable thing, but I will go through the cons and pros of doing it in the short term. So first, the disadvantages, they're, they're pretty obvious. It's gonna mess up your mental health. I mean, like you're asleep for most of the sunlight hours, so you're not gonna get a lot of sunlight. It throws off your sleep schedule. That's gonna mess you up, your mental health. You know, you're waking up late. Like I find when I wake up late, I just feel a lot worse. Cause I'm like, bro, the day's already gone. I'm waking up when the sun's like in the middle of the sky. Like, bro, the whole world's already started. I'm, here I am just getting out of bed. It feels really horrible. Like, it does kind of mess you up your mental health a little bit, I will admit. Also, you know, like, everything's going to be closed for the majority of the time when you're awake. So, you know, although this is an, also an advantage because you're awake when people are asleep. So you can kind of get more focused on it. But I'll talk about that later. But yeah, like, the obvious thing is it's going to mess up your mental health. You're going to feel really bad. You're going to feel like you're going to be getting less sunlight. It's going to mess up your sleep schedule. It is going to affect you negatively. It did affect me negatively, my mind, my body, everything. But I did get a lot of stuff done. I will admit I did get a lot of productive productivity done. Uh, the other disadvantage I will say is if you're doing your hard work at the end of the day, then throughout the day, it's always going to be in the back of your mind that you've got some serious stuff to do at night. You know, the day is reaching an end. And instead of being able to relax and chill for the last part of your day, you got to do your work. Although, to be honest, you can see this as a positive thing if you really like working, if you really like being productive. So I wouldn't consider this a massive con. Okay, the other obvious con is if you're naturally a morning person, it will be very difficult for you to stay up this late. You're just going to be so tired, so dead. So this video is more towards the night owls, the people who naturally stay up late. But if you're not a night owl, that's fine. Stay, stay in this video, watch this video, because there's going to be some interesting insights for you as well. So I'll go through what I learned, the pros of actually She's staying up late. So the first thing I will tell you is, yes, the whole world is asleep. Your friends are asleep. The whole world is asleep. There are like no distractions. You can actually focus and get much more stuff done. I find like I'm naturally just more focused more alert for some reason in these really early morning hours. Like I could focus way better. Like I know it's technically you could think like oh, it's a placebo because like you could just go on airplane mode and stop the distractions, right? Technically you could say a placebo, it's a placebo, but there's this kind of feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Unless you try it, you can't experience it, but you get this kind of feeling that like everyone is asleep and you can just focus better. I really don't know how to explain it. You have to try it. Either wake up early or stay up late and try to get some stuff done. And you'll agree with me that there's this kind of like energy permeating the, the universe where you can just focus better. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's more productive. So 100% it's more productive. You can get some serious stuff done. You know, how I would use this though, as it's more of a, like a monk mode kind of thing. More of like an intense period of a couple weeks where you're like working on something. For example, like let's say you wanted to write a book. You could take a month of just staying up late and writing that book. Or for me, a lot of the times during exam season, I would implement this. For exams, I would stay up really late and get some stuff done. So it's up to you how you wanna use this. So if you are a night owl, this can actually take advantage of your chronotype and help you focus a lot better. But you can go against your chronotype 100%. If you are a night owl, you can adapt to waking up early. So I do think waking up early, this is what I'm gonna do. I, I'm not gonna do this long-term, staying up late, because like I said, you're offset from society. It's not sustainable because you gotta go to school, you gotta go to work, you gotta meet people, you gotta get sunlight, you gotta, you gotta be a member of society. So I am gonna switch to waking up early rather than staying up late. But this is the thing though. For some people, they'll watch this video, they'll hear about the idea of staying up late and they'll love it. They'll be like, bro, this is gonna be my new life now. They're gonna stay up late every day. They're gonna get some serious stuff done in the, more, in the late hours of the day. So this is the other point I wanna put up in this video. Productivity, being productive, is not something you can just prescribe to everyone. Like it's very common online, you know, 
the advice of like wake up at 4 a.m., wake up at 5 a.m., get everything done, be productive, you know, do that. You know, productivity and many things out there are prescriptive. People are telling everyone what to do. You got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. But the reality is you can't really do that. You can't tell, you can't have a general thing that applies to everyone. For example, many people preach the carnivore diet or the vegan diet or some kind of diet. And they're like, bro, this diet is so good. It helped me lose weight. It helped me stay focused. I'm sure it did. I'm sure the carnivore diet helped this random guy lose 50 kilograms. Great. Okay. It worked for him. But the thing is, it doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone else. And it doesn't mean that's the only thing that works. So that guy tried one diet and he's preaching it, saying it, it's the best diet in the world. What you need to do is you either need to try every single diet or you need to talk about the diet from like an unbiased point of view. So in this video, I'm talking about the advantages and disadvantages of this night owl experience. And me, I've tried all of them. I've tried waking up at different times of the day. So I'm giving my more, you know, rounded perspective on this rather than preaching to you that you you must stay up late or something. Because it's very easy for me to say like, oh yeah, you must stay up late, it's really productive. But what about the people who are not night owls? What about for the people who need to adapt to society? So this is not gonna apply for everyone. Productivity is not something you can prescribe to everyone. So you gotta be very careful with the stuff you consume online. Many people, they'll talk with a lot of conviction and they'll tell you like, yeah, you must wake up early. You must eat this diet. You must do this one thing because it worked for me. But doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. Doesn't mean it's the only thing that works. So you need to take what looks interesting to you and you need to be your own science experiment. You've gotta take, even the stuff I talk about in, this vid in my videos, you need to take stuff that looks interesting to you and you need to experiment, you need to try it in your own life and design the protocols that work for you. Try different things, try different protocols, see what works for you. This is why in the past week I was like, okay, I'm gonna experiment staying up late to see what it's like. I mean, I used to do it back in the day, like many times I would naturally sleep at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., but I want to experiment with it again to get another perspective on it so I could make a nice video on it to give you a more like holistic perspective rather than like preaching why you should stay up late. So I guess the conclusion of this video is, you know, it's up to you. If you want to try staying up late and see if it works for you, try it. But I will say the massive disadvantage is it will fuck your sleep schedule and it's going to take you a while to get back on track to your normal sleep schedule. Like I'm pretty sleep deprived now because I'm back to waking up early as fuck. I mean, back to waking up early and trying to sleep early. It's, it's difficult to reset your sleep schedule, but you know, it might be worth it if you want to get some serious stuff done in like a very short amount of time, consider it. Let me know what you think in the video below, but yeah, to all my night owls out there, we've been fucked by society, man. Like, I don't know if I'm exactly a night owl because I also really enjoy waking up early. So I'm, I might be more of like a rounded type of person, but yeah, if you're a night owl, man, society's not designed for us. But I mean, like, you know, sunlight is good. We all want to get sunlight. So I do think night owl is the worst chronotype to have. You know, I'd rather be someone who wakes up during the hours when the sun is out because I like the sun. But yeah, anyway, see you later, bro.